Hello all. Welcome to the JavaScript for Pentesters course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at how to steal cookies using JavaScript. Now we've looked at XSS in which we identify a specific page in which we can inject our JavaScript. We've done a couple of examples where we actually pop the cookie within an alert box. Now, as you can imagine, this is of fairly limited use apart from a pure proof of concept. Now, in the real world, what you would want is that once you have control of the cookie or rather access to the cookie, you would want to post it back to your own server so that then you can impersonate the user. Now in this video, we will look at couple of examples on how we can do that. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to be using the same template uh, with session ID or rather we just call it session ID. We have an extra S in here set to a long random number and we can alert this just to ensure that we are sure this has been set. So let's jump right in. Let me refresh the page and there we are, right? So just like in the previous video, I have my Python simple HTTP server up and running. Of course, you can do this example using Apache or any other server as well. Okay, so the very first way in which you can post the cookie back uh, is using document that location. Now, to be honest, any technique with which we either load a resource or post a resource to a third party server would do. I am just taking some of the more common examples which are used, uh, but pretty much you can do your own research and figure out other interesting ways as well. Okay, so one of the ways is to set document.location and let's say I set this to location, port 8000 is the local one, demo.html, which is really the same page. Uh, let me kind of set this to something else probably. And let's say we paste the cookie using document.cookie. Right now document.location pretty much changes the address bar and takes you to that specific new location which you've mentioned here, right? So this is a slightly intrusive way of course, but let's do a demo. And the most important thing to note is that the cookie would get posted here as we hit this new URL, which we mentioned in here. Okay, so let's jump right in, hit and enter. If you notice we were, you know, kind of directed to location 8,000 question mark session ID equals blah, blah, blah. Uh, of course, there's nothing running there. And of course we haven't caught anything as well because this is running basically, uh, you know, on port 8000. So let's do the following. Let me actually do local host in here actually. It's my mistake. There you go. And if you notice, we got the session ID posted here, which is really the cookie in question. Now, the important thing to note is that even though we've created a script, which is posting back to the same server, could actually change this to pretty much post anywhere. So I could actually post this to a server I control. And in your case, which you as the pen tester controls, let's say securitytube.net. And could go back in here. And if you notice, we are having a redirect. And right now, I am gone to securitytube.net, right? So if I was in control of securitytube.net and I saw my local web server logs, 
then I would actually find the session ID posted here, which I can then impersonate and use with this application to hijack the user session, right? So document.location is one of the techniques. Uh, now, the other technique is using an image file where source is actually set to the URL where you want to post the cookie. So there are multiple variations. Uh, the first one is, let's say we do a write in the document. So document.write and then we have our image tag source equals. Now for these demos, I'm going to use local host, but as I showed you, you could pretty much be using any host on the internet. So local host 8000. And then after that, we could pretty much have our cookie in here. Actually do a quick question mark. Right, close this, and then close this tag. So this is actually going to write an image tag with source equals where we want to post the cookie. Right, so let's go back in here. Here we go. And if we go back in here, we'd actually see, let's do this once again. We would actually see that the cookie got posted, right? Now, if you notice one of the key problems here is this broken image symbol. You could fix this by actually mentioning the height and width of the image somewhere. So let's say height equals one width equals one again. Now this ensures that because the image is actually smaller than even this broken image tab, it's no longer going to be shown. So let's hit this, there you go, it's eliminated. And if you go back in here, you'd notice that we again got a post. So let's try this again, right? Fantastic. Now, one of the other alternate ways is really to just go ahead and instantiate a new image with source uh, and really not kind of add it to the document for the time being, right? So to do that, let me actually comment out this line. And here is what we can do. We can have a new image and basically the source of which points to the place where we want to post the cookie. Right? There we go. Go back in here. Let me also kind of change this value just so that we know it's a new value for set. When we record it. And here you go. This new value is now posted to our server, right? Now, as I mentioned before, even though we are using local host so that I can quickly show you uh, that we've actually caught the cookie in our logs, you could pretty much be using any server on the internet, right? So these are a couple of examples how very simply you can post the hijacked cookie to the attacker server and then the attacker will probably impersonate the user by using this cookie. There are many other techniques. As I said, you know, typically the whole idea is to actually go ahead and either fetch or post something to the server where we are actually using document.cookie 
as one of the parameters right so hopefully you enjoyed this video this is a very important concept which I've covered here so please try this out on your own and if you're enjoying your time here at Pentester Academy then definitely we would really appreciate if you recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.